Okay, so the fundamental accounting principle is a principle used to find the total outcomes of certain events. Um, for events, I'll be using dashed lines like this. Say there are three events. Um, say for the first event, there are A possible outcomes. Um, for the second event, maybe there are B possible outcomes, and then C possible outcomes for the third. The total number of possible outcomes for all three of these um, events is A times B times C. And this can scale even further um, into more and more events. So this might be confusing right now. Let's just jump into some examples. So for the first example, let's um, pretend that in some certain state, there is a license plate that has uh, six uh, characters and digits. So for the first three, only characters um, in the alphabet are allowed. And for the last three, only numbers are allowed. So how many possible license plates are there from these combinations? Well, according to the fundamental counting principle, we take a look at how many possibilities there are for the first slot. Um, and of course, there are 26, because there are 26 letters. Um, same for the second and third. And for numbers, um, we can include zero, so zero to nine. So for each of the last three, there would be um, 10 each. So the total number of possible license plates would be 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10. And just going to simplify that as 26 to the third power times 10 to the third power. And you can um, calculate that on your calculator if you want. Um, so let's go on to maybe a slightly harder example. Next example is how many different types of three digit numbers are there? So these are all numbers. Um, in which the number is odd and it has um, a two in the tens digit. So this one uses the fundamental counting principle again. Um, so in that respect, it's just as simple. You just have to think about um, a few nuances. So for the first slot, um, how many possible numbers can be in that uh, hundreds place? Well, we can't use zero now because then it would be a two-digit number. So we have nine choices from one to nine. The second uh, slot, the tens digit, well, we're given in the problem that it has to be a two. So therefore, there can only be one possibility. So that's a one there. And finally, it has to be odd. And we know from uh, number theory that uh, for a number to be odd, it has to end in an odd number. So 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. And those are five choices. So then we have 9 times 1 times 5, which is 45. So there are 45 three-digit numbers that are odd and have a 2 in the tens digit. As a final example, um, this is going into something that maybe it's not as related to numbers. Um, say you're in the cafeteria and you notice that there are five entree choices um, and there are two drink choices and three dessert choices. So you think to yourself, um, how many uh, possibilities are there for uh, a unique meal? Well, again, you have these uh, three events. Um, you know you want one entree, one drink, and one dessert. So there are five choices for the entree. There are two choices for the drink. And then there are three choices for the dessert. So the outcome is 30. All right. Um, so those are the, our three examples. One last thing um, to wrap it up. 
is what we've been, the problems we've been looking at thus far are um, independent of one another. So, for example, um, in the first example of our license plate, if there was a license plate that had an A in this first slot, this A would not affect any of the slots here. It's not as if um, if there was an A here, this would you know, go alphabetically or anything like that. No, they all have um, equal chance of being selected. So it can be whatever. Um, so independent means that no uh, slot is related to one another. And these are the types of events that work for the fundamental counting principle. The opposite of that are dependent events which do not work um, with the fundamental counting principle. So one example of this is uh, the chance of, say, lightning and rain occurring at the same day. You can see that these are dependent because if it's raining, there's a greater chance that lightning will also occur.